day. Welcome to TV Escuela. I am teacher Lizelle Samignano Racho from Moncayo National High School, Moncayo West District. Today, I am going to discuss about Module 5, Exterior and Interior Angles of Convex Polygon. But before we start with our discussion, let me remind you that as learners, you need to take time to read, understand and perform the different activities in the modules diligently. As we proceed with the different activities of this module, please be reminded of the following. First, use the module with care. Do not put unnecessary marks on any part of the module. Use a separate sheet of paper for your answer. Second, read the instructions carefully before doing each task. Third, observe honesty and truthfulness in doing the task and then check your answers. And if you encountered any difficulties in doing the task in this module, do not hesitate to ask assistance from your teacher or facilitator. Always bear in mind that you are not alone. I know you can do it. The objectives illustrates exterior and interior angles of a convex polygon. Find the sum of the interior and exterior angles of a convex polygon. After identifying the objectives of this lesson, open your module on page 3. Are you ready? Let us try to recall how to illustrate a polygon. Start with answering simple like a triangle. Before we proceed to our discussion proper, I will share first those keywords useful in illustrating and finding the angles of a convex polygon. These are interior angles, exterior angles, remote interior angles, and linear pair. The first keyword is an interior angle of a polygon, which is an angle inside the polygon at one of its vertices. Consider the given figure. From the illustration, angle A, angle B, and angle C are the interior angles of triangle ABC. Since the angles are located inside the triangle. The second keyword associated with a triangle is presented on the screen. As you have noticed from the illustration, the angle inside the polygon is called an interior angle. Suppose we extend one of the sides of the triangle through a certain point. What angle is being formed? Look at this figure. The angle form is called an exterior angle. An angle outside the polygon formed by one of its sides and the extension of an adjacent side. To find the exterior angle, extend the side of the polygon through a point and then rotate the arm to line up with the next side. The third word is the remote interior angle, which are not adjacent to a given exterior angle of a polygon. Let us examine the figures in the screen. In the figure, angles A, B, and C are interior angles. 
since they are found inside the triangle. Angles B and C are remote interior angles of angle 1, which is the exterior angle in the given figure. As we study the illustration, angle A is the adjacent angle of angle 1, where they form a linear pair or supplementary angle, which completed the fourth word in illustrating and finding the angle of a convex polygon. The linear pair or supplementary angle is a pair of adjacent angles formed when two lines intersect and form a straight angle which is equal to 180 degrees. Now, always remember that the sum of the measures of two adjacent angles, interior and exterior at any vertex is equal to 180 degrees. Thus, in getting the value of linear pair, or supplementary angle, this formula is to be used. Angle A plus angle 1 is equal to 180 degrees. For example, find the measure of angle 1 if angle A is 45 degrees. By using the formula angle A plus angle 1 is equal to 180 degrees, Begin the solution by substituting angle A by 45 degrees. Then apply addition property of equality. Add negative 45 degrees in both sides of the equation. Then subtract negative 45 degrees from positive 45 degrees located in the left side since they have opposite signs positive and negative. Then in the right side, after the equal sign, subtract negative 45 degrees from positive 180 degrees. Therefore, the measure of angle 1 is 135 degrees. Did you follow the steps? Very good! Now, let us have an exciting and interesting way on how to find the sum of the interior angles in a polygon. What is the measure of the interior angles of n-gon? The sum of the measure of the interior angles of a polygon with n sides is then equal to n minus 2 times 180 degrees. Since the sum of the measures of the interior angles of any triangle is 180 degrees, which has the least number of sides. Now let us take an example. Applying the formula S is equal to Quantity n minus 2 multiplied to 180 degrees. Find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a regular dodecagon. Take a look on the image of a dodecagon on the screen. In finding the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a dodecagon, we need to apply the formula. S is equal to quantity N minus 2 multiplied to 180 degrees. Since dodecagon is a 12-sided polygon, so we need to substitute N by 12. S is equal to quantity of 12 minus 2 multiplied to 180 degrees. S is equal to quantity of 12 minus 2 multiplied to 180 degrees. 
S is equal to 10 multiplied to 180 degrees. S is equal to 1,800 degrees. Therefore, 1,800 degrees is the sum of the interior angles of dodecagon. Did you follow the correct process of the solution? Great job! Next, let us find the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a triangle. The given activity will justify that the sum of the measures of the interior angles of any triangle is equal to 180 degrees. Example, find the value of M in the given triangle. Just take a look at this triangle. We need to identify first the given angle and what angle is unknown to arrive a correct solution. Given angle F is 88 degrees, angle E is 42 degrees, then find M. M plus angle F plus angle E is equal to 180 degrees is the formula in measuring the interior angles of any triangle which is equal to 180 degrees. Then substitute the given as illustrated in the figure. Substitute angle of F with 88 degrees and angle E with 42 degrees. Next, Add 88 degrees and 42 degrees, and the answer is 130 degrees. Then apply addition property of equality. Negative 130 degrees plus M plus 130 degrees is equal to 180 degrees plus negative 130 degrees. Therefore, M is equal to 50 degrees. And therefore, angle G is equal to 50 degrees. Thus, upon checking, substitute the measurement of M plus angle F plus angle E equals 180 degrees. Then add 50 degrees plus 88 degrees plus 42 degrees equals 180 degrees. Therefore, 180 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. The following is the summary of the relationship between an exterior angle of a triangle and its corresponding remote interior angles. Using the given figure, we have these equations. Number 1. A plus C plus B is equal to 180 degrees. The sum of interior angles is 180 degrees. Number 2. A plus 1 is equal to 180 degrees. A and 1 form a linear pair. Number three, using equation one and two, A plus C plus B is equal to A plus one. Both equations have sum of 180 degrees. Number four, therefore, C plus B is equal to one. Remove A in both sides of equation 3. Thus, an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of the measures of the remote interior angles. Note, the sum of the remote angles is equal to the exterior angle 
and is only applicable in triangle. Example, find the measure of angle 1 using the two remote angles. Upon viewing the figure, we need to use the formula. Angle 1 is equal to angle B plus angle C for our correct solutions. As you can see in the illustration, angle B is 60 degrees and angle C is 30 degrees. Then, substitute the value of the given angle. Angle 1 is equal to 60 degrees plus 30 degrees. Therefore, angle 1 is equal to 90 degrees. Did you learn from our discussion? Congratulations! Let us practice test 1. In this activity, please join me in identifying what kind of angles are the following based on the given figure on the screen. Question number 1. What kind of angle are the following? Angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3. Again, what kind of angle are the following? Angle 1, angle 2, and angle 3. Correct! The answer is interior angle. Question number two. How about angle four? Again, how about angle four? Correct! Angle four is an exterior angle. Question number three. How about angle two and angle three? Again, how about angle 2 and angle 3? Correct! Angle 2 and angle 3 is a remote interior angles. Question number 4. How about angle 4 and angle 1? Again, how about angle 4 and angle 1? Correct! Angle 4 and angle 1 is a linear pair. For your assignment, answer test 2, number 1 to 3 in your module page 8. Use a separate sheet of paper. I hope you get my instructions. So just a quick recap. Today we have learned to illustrate interior and exterior angle of a convex polygon. An interior angle means angle inside the triangle which always add up to 180 degrees. While an exterior angle means angle outside the triangle. Thank you for staying with me in this worthwhile learning experience. Again, I am your teacher, Lizelle Samignano Racho, from Mungkayo National High School, Mungkayo West District, saying that in life, focus on the positive, never into negative. Remember, dito sa TV Escuela, sa pag-aaral, Sama-sama. Bye-bye.